Get your kaiju figures at Big Bad Toy Store at the link in the description today. Order those Haya figures. You don't want to be sorry later. Dragon Ball Horror Kaiju and more. Steven's Toy Reviews. Hey there, collectors. It's going to be Steven here, and welcome. Gohan has nothing to do with this video, but it is going to be a point. I have my, my ADHD nest over here. You're probably going to see it. Welcome to an unboxing of the Haya Exquisite Basic. King Ghidorah gravity beam version, but there's no indication on the box that it is the gravity beam version. So this is going to be making US distribution landfall soon. It's actually uh, released a little while ago. I did significantly overpay for it. Uh, where, where I paid, I didn't get my money's worth. Uh, they basically didn't follow through on their end of the bargain. Not gonna name names. Well, I will say with BBTS, never had an issue getting my money's worth. Anything I upgraded on, anything so on and so forth, you can even check out uh, this little short about collector grade stuff. That'll that'll help reinforce it. So today, special occasion for the Gravity Beam King Ghidorah. I'm doing an unboxing, which I did not do an unboxing for the original King Ghidorah because I said that the box was too big and cumbersome. But if you see over there uh, on on desktop, I don't know where it is on mobile, but this is going to be a charity set of videos. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. And it will benefit National Down Syndrome Society, okay? So, without further ado, let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the box. We have the front of this massive, ginormous box, which, even though it doesn't say Gravity Beam version, if you kind of can't figure it out, it's going to be on you folks, okay? The back of the box is the wing-walking pose that King Ghidorah is known for, at least the Monsterverse one. So it reinforces you can get him into that pose. The top and the bottom and the sides of the box, basically just a continuation of that style guide. And, you know, that orange and brown and yellow colors, so that's all there is. So just a quick snap for editing purposes to bring me back on in. Let's go ahead and open this puppy up. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to assembly because the original King Ghidorah tails were not fun to pop on if you did not have heat, which I do not have here. Um, again, this box is super large and cumbersome. There will probably be some edits. You're going to see a lot of stuff that is normally off screen, like you can see uh, parts of my lights here. So do keep that in mind. All right. Oh my goodness. Wow. So, ooh. U.S. Uh, retail on this puppy is going to be, let me get enough room here. I think I can slide this right out. Is going to be actually $10 cheaper than the normal version. Uh, I know that in mainland China, Haya figures, you can see that gold right there. Got to move my mic. Uh, Haya figures are actually cheaper than what they are at U.S. retail. And that's not even just because some uh, retailers may get them, um, you know, through through like a middleman, a secondary source, um, U.S. distribution. Nope. They are actually um, um, a bit cheaper, like um, the Heat Ray Godzilla 1989 that come or 91 that uh, actually comes with a beam uh, is like thirty dollars thirty five dollars oh man this is this is really a wreck uh i don't know how much Ghidorah is but you can uh you can imagine what the price difference might be but again that is going to be in a different country that does not have things like uh, the need to get ports around and all that fun stuff so we see how big the figure is he's very gold Woo wee. So we have tapes supporting the stands in place, which, uh, you know, the stand parts, I really don't care too much for, for this guy. If they're going to be anything like the original release, then uh, I think they changed it to put the screws in. I don't know. I would, I'm just not a big fan of Haya support stands, but say lovey. So um, the instructions, we will take a very brief look at because it's actually going to be needed to show the gravity beams over here which very simple uh not a whole lot going on but it is what it is tape usually yellows with time and all of the like it's like packing tape here for Ghidorah that is used i'm gonna put that on my light stand 
uh, all the like the, the the tape that is used here is yellow already. So let me go ahead and open these instructions. I am actually so excited for this because even though MonsterVerse Ghidorah isn't gold, King Ghidorah is gold. All right, so here's just the instructions for you if you would like to see them. Rotate the wings counterclockwise around the joint when bending. Uh, cause joints to break. And remember, if you're ever having issues with joints and getting them to move, I've got plenty of videos for you. How to loosen joints, use heat, so on and so forth. All right, the interface is trapezoidal with the longer side corresponding to the upper jaw. I like when they make things idiot proof. As a professional one myself, instructions are always great because even if something seems simple, <coughs> it's nice to actually have something here telling you how things are done. During installation, insert the tongue into the surface and then close the mouth. The installation method is the same for all three heads. Um, here's how to use the support stands. Here's how to move the wings. Hair dryer. Attach the tail to peg. Insert the grooves for those who may not uh, be able to or have difficulty with reading. Okay, so. <sighs> it's the same bike, just a different coat of paint. Nearly. I'll get it, whoa, to it in the review, but they actually changed some things up with this guy. And I'm very, very interested to actually have this in hand and to mess around with. So let's go ahead and refocus in. And oh my goodness, just from the box, you can see that reflective quality of the gold here. Let me sort of fix that. It, it just looks stunning so far. Uh, haven't really seen the finer details, obviously, which, which you know, will be important. But let's, let's dig in. Um, I did not happen to recall um any tie downs on the original release so i'm not really well prepped for that but it's mostly okay like i said mostly okay Woo. there's more tape over here Ooh, ah. there's more tape one more rotation should do it. All right, one more, one more. Yeah, there we go. Putting my knife off to the side. Oh! Fell and almost hit me in the foot. Knife safety 101. So we do have a ton of protective plastic here, which is good when we have something that is like the gimmick is paint scheme, right? And now that we really don't have plastic covering everything up, I mean, I, I don't really have to zoom in to show you just how stunning that gold is. Um, this is really cool. So let's get that knife back again and just kinda Just kind of scared on that, because, you know, you don't want to uh, nick anything. Let's get this looking down. See what I mean by I got a, I got a little nest going on there? It's the uh, life of an unorganized reviewer. One more. Okay, so we got Ghidorah free. It's free real estate. We'll put him up there. Now we have his tails. So let's go ahead and get those taken care of. All right, so we are back. I went ahead and took care of the tails. Off video, off recording. Unfortunately, this is a bummer. I was anticipating this though, looking at Ghidorah, can you see one of the things that's kind of already going a little weird um, because of the gold? Do you happen to see it? I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. 
that is not a trick of the light. You can see this part and this this part, this gold doesn't match. Unfortunately, as time kind of goes on, even for the monster arts, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, sometimes gold will change colors. And that's not a bootleg thing. That is just hap that it just happens with gold. Uh, maybe we'll be seeing that. So let's go ahead and pick Ghidorah up, 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 up. And we do, as noted, have a ton of protective plastic here to help with any sort of paint issues, which would be awesome if you could see, uh, you know, if I uh, reposed my tripod here. So to move that and then gently move so we don't break. And there we go. So some stuff is like appropriately sticking, you know, like it's fresh out the box. But, um, you know, good fits. Whoa. Uh, always good fits. You know, there's no, no plastic or I'm sorry, no paint. That's thank you. Ghidorah kind of like stuck. If you will, except for maybe in the wing joint. There we go. And let's put this back together. Oh. I, I did not recall tabs on the original release. Hmm. Unless maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. All right. So we kind of got Ghidorah situated here. Yeah, it kind of looks like there are little tabs. Anyway, let me just do a quick, a quick try here. Um, this is the left tail. This is Ghidorah's left side over here. Maybe we'll need heat. Um, yeah, we're going to need heat. Like I said, I don't have heat available right now. Let's go ahead and zoom in as best we can and get a look at his ugly mug. Ooh, that's, that's not a, that's not a very good zoom in. But then again, you know, this is, this is just video. This is not, uh, oh, come on, focus in there. These are not my pictures, so. All right, there's his head. We got a little fuzz there. I don't know what that's from. Eyes on that head or candy womp. Is that my finger? It is. So we did have an issue with the jaws. We did have an issue with the jaws on the original release. Um, the, the way that they were positioned. And as I say that, you know, he kind of goes a little slack jaw. That's okay. Woo! Open that one up wide. But, you know, I'm going to have to say so far, I really do like the paint. On uh, this version of Ghidorah, we kind of saw the wings. Here's something that's really cool that I like. They actually put hinges in at the base of the neck so that is awesome some folks don't like the pre-posed necks of the Haya monster verse Ghidorah uh, you know different strokes for different folks I suppose but so far you know uh, you know how much I liked the Haya King Ghidorah um, and I like him in gold so this is this is kind of a win-win for me. So that's awesome. Now, here's what I wanted to really talk to you about aside from obviously wanting to show you the figure here in all of his glory now that I finally have it. So, like I mentioned, this is going to be 
uh, with a charity series of videos. So this isn't a partnership with anyone in particular at this time. This is just looking to see if we Kaiju fans, us chads here can really gather together and do something really fun. So what I have opted to do for this unboxing and for this review that will be coming up shortly, this is going higher up on my list along with a few other things, um, is going to be a charity drive, uh, you know, a, a donate, a donathon, if you will. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to set one up for the National Down Syndrome Society. This is going to be a limited period of time because there are going to be goals. And if we can hit those goals, those videos will happen sooner than later for what I would like to do for you all. And I think that we're going to have some fun things here, right? So for some figure fights, I don't particularly have like a big drive to get them done, but you in the community would like to see them. So let's go ahead and cut to the chase. We're gonna have this drive go until the following Tuesday that this gets uploaded. It's gonna be August 20th, okay? So you got a little bit of time to get a couple of extra bucks so you can chip in and every dollar counts. So I think naturally we can hit $100 because I think the Kaiju community, Two big thumbs up because you buy some awesome action figures that cost a, a nice coin like this one here. So I think $100 is pretty reasonable at that. Make sure your camera is completely free of memory before you hit record. Anyway, if we hit $200, here's what I think a lot of you want to see. A special color version King Ghidorah figure fight. And if we hit $200, that will happen. But if we hit $300 three on top of that we're going to go ahead and do a tag team figure fight with Haya and sh monster arts special color version godzilla and king Ghidorah. i know you probably want to see that i want to see that too so we can do that if we hit four we're going to go for a super title heavyweight championship match figure fight where it's going to be a special version of SH Monster Arts versus Haya, King of the Monsters. All right? So you're not going to want to miss that if we hit four. What happens if we hit 500? I'm thinking that this is going to be my preferred version of the Monsterverse King Ghidorah. And I do have the Haya King Ghidorah, the normal one. I'm not really going to need any more. So I'm going to paint it in the poster concept rainbow colors if we hit 500 and i will post a video about it and if we hit 550 i'll do a live stream with it maybe there will be something for 600 i'll think about it and talk about it in the review if i do but nevertheless that is the idea so if we hit 200 we'll do a special color version king Ghidorah figure fight 300 we'll do a tag team one with godzilla 400 we'll do an all-out heavyweight tag team figure fight special version for king of the monsters 500 i'll repaint my original haya Ghidorah, and 550 i'll live stream it that's about it thank you so much for watching i'm back now i was without power and self-service for a little bit over a week and uh it wasn't fun i couldn't do anything i tried to respond where i could but here it is so thank you again i'm gonna get to some videos I love y'all so much. I'll catch you in the next video.